guys, so it's January and obviously I wanted to start diversifying a bit of the content on my channel so I thought I would start doing a mid-month catch-up. So this is just going to be a video every single month where I talk about what I've been reading, what I've been listening to and what I've been watching and anything I've sort of been obsessing over that month because I get quite obsessive. So without further ado, I'm just going to get right into it and tell you about what I have been listening to, reading and watching in January. Now I'm not currently reading anything at the moment because I've got a very very busy month coming up but what I have read this month is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone for the first time and I absolutely love this. I thought this was an absolutely brilliant book. I was a bit iffy because I originally read this for school and obviously Generally, with things that I read for school, I generally don't like them after school or while I'm reading them in school. But I actually really, really enjoyed this one and I really can't wait to get on with the rest of the series. It's so interesting and I can really get already why this is such a beloved series. And I really can't wait to carry on with it. And also on the theme of finally reading things, I have finally read Every Heart and Doorway by Sean M. Maguire. Now, I devoured this in like three hours I think it was I read this so 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 quickly and I can't get over it quite frankly it had so many really fun cool things that I really enjoy in it and I love the lyrical writing for it and everything and it was absolutely brilliant and the minute I get anywhere near a bookstore that sells the rest of the series I'm snapping them up and if I can't well they're on the birthday list because I need this series in my life. And that's currently the books I have been reading, but what have I been listening to this month? to this month has to be five colors in a hair by mcfly because obviously i've had my hair done it does have five colors as you can see all the way around there are five colors in it i've got specifically green blue red orange and purple at the back and i do this every single time i have a special occasion coming up or i just really badly need a haircut because i am a massive mcfly fan mcfly have been a part of my life for 11 years now and I absolutely adore them and so I dye my hair with five colours not often to be fair but whenever there's a special occasion or it's my birthday or a new year or whatever this gets done and I've been listening to that a lot this month because well it's kind of my song with this so yeah And secondly, I have been listening to, for months now, First Burn from Hamilton. Now this is the original version of Burn, I think? I don't know, but obviously it is different from the version that did make it into the show. And while I really like the version that is in the show, there's something about First Burn that just clicks with me for some reason. I've never been in a situation like that, but for some reason that song is just stuck in my head and I can't really stop listening to it at this point basically i i literally can't stop listening to it and now what have i been watching this month basically i have been watching every single episode of sherlock and that's it 
apart from occasional days off. And the reason why I've done that is because A, I am a massive fan of Sherlock and I have been since the first episode aired all the way back in 2010 and I'm very much in a hiatus crying mode at the moment. But the reason why I have rewatched it entirely this quickly and I've now finished it it's because I went to the Sherlock escape room last Sunday, the 13th, and it was an amazing, amazing day. And while I was useless, and so very glad we actually had someone who's good with codes on the team, I had an absolutely amazing time there. Obviously, there wasn't that much to do with the show because obviously it had to be sort of accessible for people who aren't as obsessed with the show as I am, but I still thoroughly enjoyed myself. I love seeing the new footage of everybody and I love sitting in 221B Baker Street. Yeah, that was a real highlight for me that day. It was, it was amazing. It's made all my fangirl dreams come true in many, many, many ways. So I had to rewatch the entire show to prepare and no regrets. I love that show so much. And basically the only other thing I have watched this month is Dr. Pimple Popper because that came back this month and I can't stop watching. I'm terrible with needles. If I see a needle in like an injection needle, I will run screaming from the room because I'm so phobic of them. And you see a lot of injection needles in Dr. Pimple Popper. Do you think I can stop watching her popping pimples though? No, I can't stop watching her pop lymphomas and things. It's just, it's addictive TV. Basically it's on TLC and I will watch TLC obsessively because TLC is like crack as a channel. It's literally a crack channel full of amazing, amazing, amazing TV shows that you can't stop watching. You watch one episode and then you're hooked. And I've had that with quite a few series, but Dr. Pimple Popper is the only one that's come out this month so far. So that's the only one I'm watching at the moment. But at the same time, it is thoroughly entertaining. I can't stop watching. I just really, really enjoy it, basically. But that is it for my January mid-month catch-up. I hope you enjoyed this kind of video. If you did, please do give me a thumbs up. Comment down below with what you have been watching, reading, or listening to this month. I'll also leave a link down below to all of my social media for you to check out. And if you want to see any more of my videos, please click subscribe here. And over here will be the link to my previous video. But until next time, guys, bye.